Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently. Not just regular questing and exploring Fallout 4 though, a lot of Fallout 4 settlement crafting. I've actually found the settlement crafting and the Minutemen questline to be the most compelling part of the game for me personally so far, and I've spent around 60 hours or more just turning the starting area of Sanctuary into what I'm calling Fortress Sanctuary. It's really hard to describe how much I've detailed this place though, it's not just a settlement. I've gone somewhere over a thousand percent over the memory limit, putting down individual objects and putting just such an insane amount of detail into the settlement. I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys and also give Joel an in-person tour so you guys can kind of come along for the ride. Alright guys, I am joined today by Joel, a fellow Fallout <laughs> player who's not nearly as obsessed as I am with settlement <laughs> crafting. And no I'm, one's nearly upset. <laughs> no, one's, no one's close at all. The developers weren't this involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, eh, it's good enough. What we're going to do today is I'm going to give Joel a tour of what I'm calling Fortress Sanctuary. I have built Sanctuary as a town that you could actually just discover in Fallout. Like, you're coming across the Commonwealth, you crest a hill, and you don't see a town you see a fortress <laughs> that looks almost nothing like it used to. <laughs> I see your frame rate already getting ready to dip. So we've gone from 60 FPS to 37. <laughs> Welcome oh to Fortress Sanctuary. My idea behind this settlement was I wanted a place that I could actually see myself surviving in. I wanted a place that I could like feel actually safe in, an actual sanctuary. I wanted no holes in security. I wanted a complete wall system, every amenity possible, and I wanted it to be a mix of like, you know, my character lived before the war, I wanted to use like the old houses, my old house as much as possible, but also make it kind of junky like an actual Fallout town, like you, you could actually discover this, like I've built this place, and uh, you're traveling and you come across it. So Joel, <laughs> wh where do you want to start? Well, the first thing I want to say is, if you're a new person coming to this, if you just come upon it, what, how, how do you treat strangers, Dave? Oh, we welcome strangers. You welcome strangers. Is there a vetting? Well, that guy, that guy just walk up a ladder. Or did you walk up the side of the wall? <laughs> he, he walked up a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's actually. Um, if you want to talk about the vetting process, we can go around and go to the welcome center. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Which would be the entrance a new person would come in? I want. I, that's the way I want to go. The, the most common entrance would probably be this entrance. Now, it, it would not be this right here at the Sanctuary Hill sign because this is kind of like the service entrance. Hence the, the bars. So you have that guy who's guarding, and he wouldn't let them through this way. Yeah, this is kind of, uh, you know, for general's access only. <laughs> okay, so that guy, he'd be, or the lady, I guess. Yeah. Lady, yeah. She'd be like, uh, whoa. <laughs> Just patrolling around. So she would tell you to go where? Oh, up the road? Up the road to the market district. Okay, and obviously, you can see, like, turrets everywhere. It's kind of like, oh, uh... And here we actually have a fake entrance if someone tries to like break in. It's it's just a trap door. <laughs> so we're gonna come up here. Um, as you guys can see, my initial feature for Fortress Sanctuary was a complete wall system with uh, no holes, no us. issues anywhere. She reminds me of like a sniper from like Russia in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably gave her that exact weapon, didn't you? Yeah, she showed up in the outfit. I gave her the Ushanka and the rifle, and it was like, you look kind of kind of survivalist <laughs> yeah we're gonna come up to the uh, the market district here this is the main entrance on Main Street to Fortress Sanctuary and oh. as you can see Joel I've gone through and replaced every floating turret and like turrets on like the little floors with an actual turret shell <laughs> every single one has correct support <laughs> <laughs> all right come on into the market district this is where the greeter sits it's a boring ass job yeah I mean, do you do you have do you have a rotation? Uh, no, actually, random people will just sit there and kind of chill, which works for me. It pleases me. <laughs> so we come through the entrance right here, uh, and this is the market district. Which side of the street would you like to start on? Oh, well, let's go market. Or let's go. Yeah, let's go left side. Left side first. All right, we've got our trash bins for uh, getting garbage out of the city. We've got our our Brahmin feeding troughs and some extra defenses inside where of the gate. Where do they put the, Where do they put the trash, Dave? After that, you put it in there, and then. Where might it go? Maybe that it doesn't happen in the game, but where have you decided it goes? Given this is the apocalypse, probably over the bridge and into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So here at the edge of the market district, um, we have our, our general trader here with a lantern for light at night. He's got all of your general <laughs> items. <laughs> uh, he's got his shades on, his nice outfit. He's ready to, to totally scam you for some nice deals. He actually earns me caps, so I'm okay with this. Oh, he earns you caps? Yeah, I, I get like 500 caps a week from this settlement. He's open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m.? Yep. Oh, that's cool. I feel I, like his store size is a little, you know, obscure. I guess it's he's a little devious. Yeah, yeah, he's not he's not a great salesman, but <laughs> but he earns you caps. <laughs> he earns me caps. Moving here to the platform, we have our outdoor barber shop. This is an actual. Oh, what is this? Did you add that? Of course, I added that. You, you, what is that? How did you add that? Mods, mods are amazing. <laughs> oh my god. So this is an actual barber chair where I can change my haircut. It's an actual working barber shop. <laughs> So I can change my facial hair and, and, and all that stuff. So this is an actual barber shop. <laughs> Your haircut's awesome. <laughs> I'm not going to change it right now, though. Um, so yeah, got an actual working sink here. And as you guys can see, uh, we have some actual trees here in Sanctuary. We're trying to rebuild the apocalypse. Some young, not super healthy looking trees, but you know, it's a start. And you can see more of them going up Main Street here. Uh, <laughs> at 40 FPS. <laughs> So Joel, do we skirt the defensive yeah, let's catwalks? Look, yeah, let's, let's look from above. Okay, we'll go from above first. So basically, this entire section from the Market District all the way around to the other main entrance on Main Street is connected by a series of catwalks. You can access the entire defensive network from these catwalks. Dude, I feel like you you sound like the actual like tour guide for like museums and stuff <laughs> like if you guys will follow along i'll show you the the catwalks all are interconnected this is me trying to move quickly the too. early settlers did this for us <laughs> uh yeah I, I wanted to be able to access the defensive walls from any position just because i'm never sure if uh you know what direction enemies might come from so i want to be able to move quickly i don't know if you thought about this but like one one of the ideas i had on to try to take out your settlement was possibly by snipers on that, like, the billboard over there, because it's a pretty high spot. Do you have any, uh, I mean, I know you have the defense right there, but, uh, <laughs> like, if I they, don't know if you can climb up there, but... You, you'll see what would take care of snipers on the billboard here in a minute. Okay. If not, you notice I have an actual sniper, I have two snipers, one of them yeah. in combat armor, with long-range <laughs> rifles, which actually, they go from defensive position to defensive position. <laughs> the sign, please, <laughs> please only. only. Oh, God. Because of the dish, and this is one of my laser. What turrets. is that dish? What does that dish do? Um, it's the two dishes here are for us to communicate with our primary fort, the castle. Oh, uh, does, does that actually do something? No, but <laughs> but I do have radios down below which are connected, quote unquote, <laughs> to communicate with <laughs> the fort. <laughs> We'll be back down to Market District here shortly, but we'll come back around to that. We've got a, that thing? got a laser turret overlooking the Market District, and we're going to keep following the catwalk as you suggested, because, uh, you know, it's your tour. <laughs> <laughs> so we got catwalks and the electric system, which leads to this missile turret, which, oh, wow. as long as enemies engage it, it's a basically fully automatic rocket launcher. They'll get one shot from that sign before the sign's gone. Wow. That rocket launcher does not oh, mess around. Oh, oh, look down. I see a lantern down on the ground. What is that? Oh, we'll come back around. There's Whoa, <laughs> what is that? We'll, we'll come back around at night. There's lights around the entire perimeter to help the turrets and the snipers. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have someone in your in your, in your your imagination that would go down and relight those and refill them with oil? Oh, of course. Can you imagine how much oil we're having to scavenge from the, yeah. <laughs> from the wasteland? <laughs> so we're actually on the roof of my house right now. Um, and this has got a, uh, a lookout point as well as up top here some access for some turrets that cover the back creek area. It looks like the one on your right almost looks like it's uh, monitoring if in case anyone gets on top of the fort. What's great is these turrets can actually make a full circle. So uh, they're primarily focused on enemies that are coming from the outside, but if enemies get inside, they can turn pretty far and shoot inside the fortress as well. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. Hmm. Oh, don't worry, Joel. I've prepared. At the end of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to let Joel test my defenses and, and see how they hold yeah, up. Yeah, I've, I've got a theory that I've been working on. So going from my house, we've got a little outlook right here over some nice, uh, nice fresh trees. We're going to cross over the dining room here to the last line of defenses. This is actually a, uh, a bunkhouse that we're, uh, we're above right now. And all of these houses I've gone through 
And this one's the roughest looking of them all, but I've actually sealed in the attics to prevent leaks and make the buildings usable again. Nice laser turret right there. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop down in free cam for a second, just so you guys can see. This entire back wall, I've gone through and sealed up every last section of it. There are no holes in this outer wall. You cannot get into the fort anywhere in here. <laughs> every crack, every crevice is completely oh filled. Oh my gosh. <laughs> every entrance that they could possibly use is secured. And of course, flags, so that everyone knows that this is a settlement controlled and built by the Minuteman. <laughs> built by Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the general. Mm, that missile turret. It says turn free cam off here. Okay, so continuing this tour. So we're going to keep going on the catwalks, then we'll go back down and start back at the market district. Um, some more outlooks here, some access uh, routes. And one thing I'm very impressed with, even though I'm over the memory limit for this settlement by like a thousand percent, the AI still does pretty well at like pathfinding up all these catwalk and stuff. They'll actually use, I'd say, two thirds of these catwalks. That's cool. That's really impressive. Like, I'm basically breaking the game at this point, and the game still kind of works with it. Will they walk across this? Uh, they will not walk across this. They don't see this as an actual path, unfortunately. But I, I do. So, <laughs> this is a great overlook and access route, looking over Fortress Sanctuary. We can see the other Main Street entrance. Question, have you set up on this bridge, changed the time of day just to look at your settlement? I mean, the god rays are pretty sweet, so of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of, co of course. <laughs> uh, coming along here, we have... This is one of our largest custom buildings in the settlement. This is a uh, combination recovery area for the, for the surgery in the hospital. Uh, some bunk rooms, as well as we have our radio tower here for communicating Dude, with the fort. That is gigantic. Yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the actual one from the castle too. Um, is that the modded one? Yeah, it's the modded okay, one. Okay, because I was like, oh, you can't get that one that big, right? I mean, no, no. So we actually have the ham radio here to talk to the castle, and we have one of our small yeah. fusion reactors. Yeah, do you fill in the blanks of the wires connecting all of this? Oh, of course. I was, like, I was like, there's no wires, Dave. Dave's like, there's, well, I see wires. <laughs> well, the, we want, you don't want the wind catching the wires. They're underground. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and from up here, you can see down onto uh, Main Street with Is my that house. a street lamp? Yes, and it's actually, it actually functions, too. It almost looks like a bell. It's going to get really foggy now. It's going to make me angry. An intimidating suit of power armor. And Joel, what were you saying last week when I was talking about the fortress? And you're like, oh, you don't have a shooting range for your settlers to, to yeah, practice? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah screw you. <laughs> <laughs> you made a shooting range. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. It's hard to knock him over. Will they actually fall over? Yeah, but it takes, a, it takes a few hits. That's a 50 caliber, too. That's not messing around. That's one of my two settlement recruitment beacons. All right, um, so this is where the catwalk ends for this side. Uh, you want to go back get to down it? from this side? Yeah, you go down through the uh, through the interior. You want to? Oh, cool. Cause I was, man, I was hoping to catch you. Like you had to go all the way back over. Nope. Of course you can go. Of course not. There. Is this the bar? This is one of the uh, lounge areas. Yeah, it's not really a full bar. Just kind of a private lounge and some wait, you, you, wait, quarters. You have two bars. <laughs> yeah, like a full oh, <laughs> did, did I not show you the actual bar? <laughs> show, show I was you? gonna say, is this bar? Because like this bar, you have like straight up access to like big machinery and stuff like that. I mean, I guess you trust. Do you trust everyone? I guess everyone has to be vetted. But I'm like, is this like a private bar? For Th this is for residents. This floor is for residents. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you want to see the actual bar? Should we just start? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's, let's see the actual bar. Uh, we'll just we'll take a quick jog down Main Street. We'll go past the clinic and the surgery here. Who left the door open to the clinic? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go past the picture at the top. <laughs> we'll go past my house in the park, and we'll come back around to those later. We'll go to the actual bar in the market district. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> you have a, of course, you have a weapons dealer there. That's awesome. So drunk people can get guns <laughs> and kill each other. Well, you also turn your weapons at the lockers before you go in to drink. <laughs> no way! No way! Gosh! <laughs> And of course, you have to have actual, you know, storage for all these weapons that they're supposedly selling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. They're all out there in the open, though, Dave. Yeah. Well, you know, they put the inventory inside at night. Oh, okay. In my mind. <laughs> 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 um. So yeah, my idea here for the bar was kind of like for the market district. This is where you're going to have a lot of the people just come and go, uh, you know, coming and going. So. You can do all your trading at the General Trader, uh, at the Armorer here. 
And of course, he's got nice armor to show off, of course, as you do. <laughs> and you can buy and sell your guns, too. There's also rooms for rent available on the first story. What, what was the backstory on the, gun, the guy who's selling the guns? I know you, you had to create some sort of backstory. Who's selling guns? Why? Like I'm just kind of imagining uh, him as, as someone who uh, was really good at finding the best armor and like making it work. So when he came to the settlement, I was just asking him, like, hey, what are you good at? He's like, hey, I'm, I'm pretty good at finding them armors. <laughs> and so I, so now, <laughs> so he works here at my armory. <laughs> and uh, for the weapons dealer, you know, she's wearing the Brotherhood of Steel uh, kind of flight outfit. She's probably dissatisfied with the Brotherhood, has some weapons training, is good with guns, and is now selling guns for me and making me caps. <laughs> How much caps do you make per week or in this? I think with so many stores in the settlement now, probably like 500 caps a week. Oh my gosh. It's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, we'll go on up to the bar here. There's rooms for rent down below, but what's really awesome is at night, everyone will actually come and like congregate at the bar and like drink and sit on all the couches and stuff. But uh, you get is that an air conditioning unit? It's an Edotronic. Oh, it's that. Oh, yeah, that thing. Access to the catwalks. And, and someone uh, had to lug that cell door. <laughs> yeah, suckers. <laughs> And of course, it's Christmas time. We're ready for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have trash cans. Oh, of course you have God. trash cans. Lunch boxes to carry you your food. Put, you put the lunch boxes up there? Of course. <laughs> and you'll appreciate this, Joel. What I use to decorate all the all the small stuff is called <laughs> OC Decorator, which is kind of appropriate. <laughs> um, so we got our bartender here who also sells, of course, food, employees. Wait, did you need a little chain up there, or does that come with the bar? It comes with the bar thing. Okay. Actual little bar sign. I was hoping there'd be a little thing of meat up. Hook, hook, hook. We got get the sink out, out back there, a little radio on the wall. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. <laughs> <laughs> and we have our dining area for the bar. You got your new Coca-Cola machine. Um, a few games Is that toys. a cigarette bud thing? Yeah, uh, the cigarette butt. Cigarette butt. What is it? Good, good old cigarette buddy. <laughs> we get our. Wait, was that board game supposed to be there on the ground? Or is that just like yeah. some kid played and left it there? Played it in the floor and left it there. <laughs> oh my god. We get our magazine racks. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So this is the the uh, it's called the um, the Patriot Bar and Grill. Hence the red, white, and blue. Ooh, that frame rate droppage. Red, white, and blue in the minute, man. That's awesome. Patriot Bar and Grill. It took so much copper to make all that. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so we'll just... Um, oh, if you're going to rent a room, who do you talk to? Oh, uh, the bartender. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll show you the downstairs, too. It's, uh, I mean, pretty basic. Just dividing into some, some basic rooms with some storage. Um, I'm really trying to avoid... I don't even remember any of this from the last time you showed me this. This, this whole building was empty before. It, it was like it was a shell when you, when you last saw it. Some bunk beds. That looks warm. <laughs> yeah, it would really suck with that light coming into the corner too, like all night long. Dave, I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any uh, cases where you can get blankets out. Oh, that's that's back here in the in the blanket drawer. They're <laughs> 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 just made up totally on the spot. Um, instead of going right down Main Street, because that has a lot of detail. Or you know what? No, let's 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 go for maximum detail first. We'll go to the park in my house next. The park? Yeah, the Minuteman Park. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean even a minute, man? What was this like a... <laughs> Can you turn yourself into the god of this area? It, I'm not the god, Joel. The idea of the minute man helping their fellow citizens of the Commonwealth, <laughs> that's the god. That's the goal. Dave, you'd be the general of this area and also the, like, tour guide. Like, you would, you're like, I have to do it myself. And we just sit on the bench and ponder our successes. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's, of course, my office right in there. <laughs> Overlook the park. It's a nice shade from the you tree. Are, you're the park ranger of this <laughs> apocalypse. Um, and I have my um, my congregating bell right here where I can gather all my settlers. If I need to like, reassign <laughs> tasks. But yeah, we have a nice little park here out front. Some of those uh, you know, trees got some, some fresh growth. Trying that, to start. Does that actually light up? That. Oh yeah, That's yeah. Cool. It lights up this area at night. And notice I actually use these like panels outside to run the electricity. <laughs> They're on the side of the house. <laughs> Coming in the front here now. This is my personal house. This is. I've worked hard on my settlement. I take care of my people. I wanted a nice house. My house is pretty nice. Okay. I don't even want to hear it. I deserve this. <laughs> so coming in the main room here, I've got some. Uh, 
nice collectibles here on the shelf. Camera, bowling ball, basketball in the corner. I have actually completely sealed in the roof so it's waterproof. Oh my gosh. You gotta protect my possessions. I had to use a glitch to get him up there, but... As the general, the leader of the Minutemen and of, of this settlement, I've got to protect myself. So I have guns hidden all throughout the house, and I'll show you where. I got the 10 millimeter pistol next to the couch. Got my record player. Got my TV here. No one's broadcasting. Surprise, surprise. Um, toy shelf, some paintings. Got the light switch for the kitchen. Gosh. So you can cut the lights on. <laughs> Your house uses the most wattage out of this whole place. <laughs> Probably so, actually. You deserve it. Okay, I'll do some dishes later. You know, dishes well, are a bit You actually up. put food on the dish, too. Sweet roll, yeah. And, and dish rag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so God. happy when I found dish rags in oven mitts. <laughs> oh, my God. How happy were you, Dave? <laughs> Pretty happy. <laughs> and I can actually use my stove here. I was, dude. It took so long to get it, like, it was like one pixel to get that stove into that slot. Like, it was so <laughs> carefully positioned. I can actually, like, cook stuff Ooh. on my stove. Ooh, nice. Crispy, crispy scroll. How much have you cooked, Dave? A lot. I've probably ranked up from cooking at least once. <laughs> just from all that XP. <laughs> and I got my dining area here, my American flag, to remember the world that was before. Which was, like, two months ago for me, honestly. Um, oh, I didn't show you. In case, you know, I'm, I'm cooking up some, some good, uh, some good squirrel stew and, you know, raiders attack. I don't have one of the 20 guns in my backpack. Got a pipe revolver pistol hidden in the old oven. That's awesome. <laughs> you can just, like, drag it out and actually use it. Um, you got your storage area Dave, back would it, here. would it please you so much if for some reason, like, you didn't have weapons on you for somehow. Yeah, it's like, some reason. And then, like, raiders attacked and you, act, like, your preparations in the house actually, like, saved you like how much would you squeal in excitement <laughs> that you that happened a lot <laughs> a lot <laughs> in the bathroom here you got your magazine rack for your reading materials your sink your toilet emergency pipe revolver pistol again hidden in the shaving kit <laughs> um this was so all you have to do is sneak into this guy's house and he's got he's got weapons provided for you oh well, there's an armory too but it has a more secure door <laughs> you have an armory Oh, and a storage area, because in my mind, Joel, I'm thinking, like, all this junk, there's, like, hundreds of units of, of junk in this settlement. Like, where's all that being stored? I had to make a place to store all the junk. You have a storage for all the junk and extra materials. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Continuing on, in my son's old room, we got a little candle. I'm uh, rebuilding the room for when I find him again. We got a safe hidden. Did you arrange those blocks in any particular way? A little bit. What? <laughs> Just to make him look nice. <laughs> and see, my son's not here. I have my drinking corner. <laughs> also with a... Oh my gosh, there's a thing of whiskey right beside you. <laughs> Wh <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> oh, in case you want to commit suicide. <laughs> no, in case the raiders come right to the door. Oh, I can drink okay. my whiskey in one hand and shoot with the other. <laughs> I got my whiskey. You turned the cops upside down, didn't you? You did that. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my cigars, too, of course. Oh my God. And in case the pistols aren't enough, I've got the shotgun with the bayonet hidden in the corner right there. Oh my gosh. And then finally, this is the general's office. I, I of course, have the best bed. With this <laughs> shotgun, on my <laughs> shotgun on the top. I hope when you're sleeping it falls over and <laughs> shoots you. And then I have my typewriter, my, my paper, my money, my gold bars. You're a rich son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you seeing what I built with my freaking bare hands? I know. It's great, too, because I had to pay to build all this. And then, like, I'll go to one of my traders, Joel, and be like, hey, like, I need some copper to, like, build some more stuff. They're like, oh, that'll be 70 caps. I'm like, screw you. I built you a home. <laughs> Dave, I can see you come into the sound. They're like, hey, yeah, it's a, it's a small little village. You're like, out of my way. You just start building stuff. I'm like, who made, who told this guy is the general here? You like, just walk right in and start building houses. As you can see, I can see out to the park. Geez. Got a missile launcher. Got my filing cabinet. Back here, my American flag. What's up there on the little desk? Uh, it's purified water. Oh. Because you get thirsty at night. My painting of the old beach vacation. <laughs> that really your thought? <laughs> it was beside the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And, uh, <laughs> got a flag and the bourbon. Oh and my god. Teddy bear in the corner. <laughs> Are you okay, Joel? <laughs> you okay right now? Oh my god. Um, so yeah, so that, that's my house. I'm actually gonna, um, seeing we mentioned the, the armory, What's that? I'm gonna double back a bit to the market district, and 
we're gonna bounce off the barber shop here. This is the um, the scavenging area. This is where all my people who go out looking for supplies. Oh my lord! Did back. you put all those little cases in that thing? Uh, thankfully, no. This is all one unit. Oh okay. I was like, oh my god. I gosh. did put the cabinets and all the tool signs here. Electrical over here. So yeah. Man. This is where people bring supplies. They'll actually go out and get supplies for me. And I'm thinking, like I said, I'm building so much stuff. Like, where's all that junk? Where's all that junk stored? So I've got some lockers and some storage in here. Ham radio for that dish up top. Remember I told you about? Yep. <laughs> and this is the storage. <laughs> storage <What>? room. <laughs> this is the sliding door. Oh my gosh. So this is where we store all the junk in my mind. <laughs> I love these custom doors. It's so awesome. <laughs> is that a modded door yet? Yeah, yeah. And uh, this being kind of like the work area, it also has the chemistry, chemistry station for, you know, making your chems and whatnot. With a nice vent to the open air uh, scene, it's, you know, probably a bad day to make chemicals in an enclosed oh space. Oh my gosh. Little curtain. What, what was that room? This is in case you're working late at night and you want a quick nap. <laughs> Did you really think of that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta put a curtain up to keep the fumes out. <laughs> And this is kind of like a little rest area with a radio, which is playing right now for uh, you know people who are working hard, want to take a quick smoke break or whatnot. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, as they do. As they do. We'll, we'll Nuka Wait, there's here. no Nuka Cola in there. <laughs> Son of a whore. That's, that's a lot of electricity going, Dave, for no Nuka Colas. I mean, or the guy just hasn't delivered the Nuka Cola for that day. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, actually take power, I don't think. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and quick saving. <laughs> and frame drop. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna bounce off of. Uh, we've seen the bar now. We've seen my house. We're gonna take a quick look at uh, my workshop area here. This is where I work on my power armor. Did you put the motorcycle in here? Of course I did. One I day. Like, I couldn't remember if there was a motorcycle in it already. No, one day, Joel, we're going to have vehicles again. I, I believe in the dream. We have trees now, okay? One day we're going we're gonna to get some working vehicles. <laughs> Got my, my work area for my armor. And a lot of this is pretty close to what it was. What is that? What is what? Is that a giant nuke? <laughs> no, no, that's a trash can. Oh, I was like, dude. Oh, that, that's backwards. What on earth? That won't do. Quick save. <laughs> yeah, I've got some nice paintings up. Just remember the world before. Um, and this is actually where a lot of these uh, these settlers who were part of that original Minuteman group that I saved stay. Mama Murphy, she's worthless. She doesn't do any work. She just sits in her chair. So she just takes up space. <laughs> My bobblehead stand. Awesome. Haven't collected many. Been doing a lot of crafting. <laughs> you have to have like a certain level like, to craft that thing, right? I don't, I, I, don't, I can't craft it yet. I, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> it just happens. So yeah, this is just... This is actually... Um, I've assigned beds in here mainly to people who came in that first group of, of settlers from that original group. The most trusted people stay yeah. here with Mama Murphy. Frame drops. <laughs> and of course, over here next to my house, I have the wreckage of an old truck with a spotlight. We'll work on repairing that sucker someday. It's remembering those days long past. <laughs> And you know you got your your uh, dog house for and dog you, meat. And you have the dog bowl. Yeah. Wow. So we were coming to the corner of Main Street now. Uh, there's the scaff scaffolding up there. We've got the. Oh yeah, this is I think my sniper with the um, the power armor. He's wearing the Minuteman hat and all still. Um, but he's uh, he's watching over things. Down below, we have our dining area. People have been cooking up some delicious death claw steaks, probably. <laughs> little delicious. salt and pepper in the rolling cart. And you've got your dining area. Kind of... So where do most people eat? Because, I mean, like, who would be eating here? Most of the residents, really. Like, most of people who are just coming and going are going to be at the bar. This is really for residents. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! I was looking like, dude, there's no way you can feed like all like 13 people. <laughs> and then you turn around, there's another whole table. And that's also not like, counting all of the seating at the bar and the yeah. outdoor patio and the yeah. other the other bar inside the, yeah. Oh my gosh. So this is the dining area for the. Do you have anyone in mind in your in your neighborhood that is kind of like the cook? You would think is a cook. I assign somebody, but I'm not sure where they are. It, the. Even without mods, like assigning people and stuff is like a little glitch. I mean, I don't think actually. you can assign anyone as a cook in the game. You can. Oh, really? I think they just do like the idle animation, but oh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you can. So this house right here, I've run power to it. Um, this is 
kind of like the the old-fashioned barracks so it's got a nice little lounge here you've got all of your pool cues and balls for... the mole rat thing on the wall oh yeah the little mole rat oh, that <laughs> thing is nasty looking yeah that's, that's creepy holy crap so you got your dining area your lunch box a bulletin board for announcements <laughs> about the settlement <laughs> You got your uh, some snacks and Do you have drinks. an announcement anywhere outside? Like if you want, if people wanted to put not quests, but like things they needed to get done, or would that be here? Like tasks? You think? Yeah, tasks. Yeah. We're both drinking uh, Coca Cola Cherry Zero right now. Just sort of a nose. It's delicious. <laughs> Nuka Cherry Diet. Um, Thomas, what are you doing in here? We got some curtains here to separate some of the sleeping areas. Everyone's got their own storage and whatnot. You got the old Halloween decorations to be extra creepy. <laughs> All the ceilings are sealed up again. <laughs> got some boxes and whatnot. Sealed up the area to the dining hall so wow. everyone's not talking in your face. <laughs> that wouldn't do it all. Super creepy skeleton right in the window. <laughs> oh, this, to play the game. this room looks like someone's like dying in here with all these curtains. <laughs> so that's someone's room. You just kind of made the bathroom into a room. Yep. With, uh, with curtains, of course, on all the doors. We made it comfortable. I mean, I guess no one would take a shower there, right? The shower is unhooked. Oh, we have a bathhouse for that. You have a bathhouse? Oh, yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're getting there. <laughs> so, and remember, Joel, you complained before I had this staircase here. I left it there just because I wasn't using it yet. And you're like, oh, it's floating. It's floating. That's not realistic. That pisses you off. Screw you. <laughs> now it's connected to a turret platform. <laughs> So that turret actually looks through right here. We have a fence that they have to like either hop or get around as the machine gun turret just mows them down. And that rocket launcher, that thing can hit people like on the other side of the hill over there. It's insane. Uh, seeing we're outside the settlement, you guys can see the lights are starting to come on here uh, as the sun sets because this is taking so long. <laughs> this is the other Main Street entrance. And just back here we have like a little graveyard for our honor you citizens. You made a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the most honored citizens. That Do you have flowers away. near any of them? Uh, no, we we can't afford flowers right now. I mean, nothing's growing besides the trees at the moment. And then the Minuteman flag for the honored dead. So what we'll do here is we'll come on. Dave, if someone died from your group, and if there was a way to mod in, like someone playing the trumpet, you would. I have a whole funeral for them. Everyone would be required to attend. <laughs> 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 so. <laughs> Coming in the main street entrance here, you got a water source for the thirsty travelers. Um, like I said, this this building right here, seeing it has the fusion reactor and all on top and a lot of the defenses. This is mainly for residents. Close that door up. But this is especially for the travelers right here. We got our clinic. Everybody's leaving doors open. <laughs> and that was totally me. I what is this place? This is the clinic. You can get yeah, you have a clinic. It. Yeah, I can get chems here. She can cure oh, okay. me of radiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. Go, well, we what's wrong with me, doctor? You craft too much. <laughs> no chem no addictions. Right here. <laughs> You're, you have a crafting right. addiction. Keep an eye on it, though. <laughs> yeah. no. I diagnose you with extreme crafting. No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future. Why don't you lecture me? Man. And of course, she has a Vault Tech doctor's outfit. You gave her that specifically, didn't oh, you? Oh, of course. You got the wheelchair out front. You know, if this is real life, Dave, like, people are like, I want to just wear this. Dave's like, wear this. <laughs> this is your uniform. <laughs> He's like, stop taking my clothes off and putting this other clothes on for me. You're going to look the part. So in the game menu, this, this actual uh, clinic here is called a surgery. It's like the best one you can build. Uh, in theory, I guess it means that, um, like, you can do the best work here, work. maybe. Like, the yeah. most work. I don't think you can actually do surgery here. Like, change your features and whatnot. But in my mind, like, it's an actual surgery. Sure. But Bethesda kind of made all of the stores look the same. That's lame. So we had the staff entrance to the doctor's office and the uh, the surgery here. So we're going to open the sliding door to the <laughs> surgery. We have the recovery area, the puppy posters. How long did this one little section, do you think, took? About two hours last night. The game crashed twice when I looked in certain directions <laughs> from all the objects. <laughs> So in the surgery, you have, a, you have a curtain to separate the surgery table. Oh my god! You've got a mirror. And How much soap. Did, you, did you do any research before you did this at all? Like, did you have any Wikipedia? Like, what would be in a what would be in a room, or did you just go off of your immersion? And I, you I'm actually. I, I, all of this is built completely off of what I see Bethesda doing elsewhere for other settlements and for like the old world stuff. Wow. So I'm kind of like keeping that in the back of my mind. We have that's a little impressive. little radiator here. Keep the patients. You warm. added the. Oh gosh. Of course, Joel, I, just, I figure some of this would just come right in the room. Like I don't know. Like no, no, no. Joel, I keep forgetting you've designed every every. This entire building thing. here, 
was wait, wait, this. wait, what's the little stove for? Is that for like heating? We're up? going back, but look, look, this dirt was all that was in this alleyway before this entire structure. The surgery is all custom. As you can see, I built like this cool little floating wall here to hold the cabinets so that we have more room for the surgery table. You get your wow. hot plate to heat up your instruments and uh, you know clean them. Bell for service. I need to actually move that elsewhere, and some toys for the kids as they're getting treated. You know, and uh, a nice one of our best and brightest fluorescent lights for the surgery table. But there's no waiting room. Uh, actually, we <laughs> we use the waiting room over here at the other entrance right here. This is kind of like uh, if you're waiting on someone, either the, you can ring the bell <laughs> to get someone's attention. <laughs> oh my God. You can be sent over here to wait. <laughs> and secure with a turret. Oh, oh, it's multiple turrets. And of course, you have your, your welcome mats here, too. You know, you can't... Wow. can't not have the welcome mats. you like, please wipe your shoes before coming into our apocalypse. And, of course, there's turrets that are watching over everything, everywhere. Um, and I also liked making the houses part of the walls, you know? Like, I wanted to keep that old world style, so... To save on resources, also, the houses became part of the defense. Wait, did you have that fence right there, right in front of the blue? Just to help with the windows, but it wouldn't let me put it in the corner, so that's about as close as I could get it. I'll probably remove it later. And that, guys, is where we're going to end it for part one. In part two, we're going to take a look at the fusion reactor protection area, some of the defenses along the river, the dining area, the bathhouse, the schoolhouse, the gym, and then Joel's going to be allowed to actually formulate a plan and uh, try and figure out a way that he would infiltrate this settlement and try and destroy it. So in part two, I'm going to let him make that plan and then I'll use console commands to spawn enemies, remove defenses, and let him carry out that plan and see how things hold up. For now though, to end out this part one video, I'm going to spawn just a couple of different armies on different sides of Fortress Sanctuary to see how the defenses do against a just full-on frontal attack. I hope you guys are enjoying the tour so far. I know that I had a crazy amount of fun building it and then sharing it with you guys and Joel. And we'll be back with part two here very shortly. See you guys soon and thanks for watching.
Terminator!